It's powerfully symbolic, the head of the Roman Catholic Church getting down on his hands and knees to wash and kiss the feet of young offenders. But in a break with tradition, the new Pope infused the ritual with greater significance still by washing the feet of women. The ceremony has traditionally been limited to men. Christians believe Jesus washed the feet of his disciples on the eve of his crucifixion in a gesture of love and service. Pope Francis made it clear that was his message too. The one who is highest up must be at the service of others. This is a symbol, it is a sign. Washing your feet means I'm at your service. As he left the juvenile detention centre, the gratitude of well-wishers was clear. Even politicians were moved by what they'd seen. I was struck by the love I saw in the eyes of Papa Francis after washing the feet of the youngsters. After he kissed them, he looked each one of them straight in the eyes. It was an immense love he had in his eyes. Earlier, Pope Francis gave a stark warning to some 1,600 cardinals, bishops and priests at a mass in St. Peter's Basilica. He told them not to care about the trappings and fine fabrics of Catholic liturgy, but rather to remember to live close to their flocks, just like shepherds who live with the smell of their sheep. On Sunday, he'll deliver his first Urbi et Orbi message to the city of Rome and to the world. Last year, Pope Benedict looked tired as he spoke with a hoarse voice to the crowds at the Vatican. His decision to step down has allowed Pope Francis to bring fresh energy to the role. His first Easter address will present him with another opportunity to stamp his imprint on a job with many challenges ahead. James Kelly, BBC News.